to what we're doing today. We've finished up building the entire rib set for the set of wings that we're in the process of building. This includes the optional false rib that I put just inboard of the aileron inboard uh, rib to give me a better gluing surface. And uh, what happens here, I'll have to take them off the scales and zero the scales. Okay. What we're doing is we're weighing these ribs, set of ribs, complete set, with the optional false rib that I use. We are at six pounds, 2.4 ounces. So if you're building some other type of a rib or some other type of a wing, it gives you an idea where you should be. And that's all of the ribs. Uh, this is before the ailerons, the rest of the aileron structures installed. Now I'm going to take the false ribs out and we are at five pounds, 15.4 ounces. What we have here is uh, piles of our different types of ribs. This is the partial rib that I use on the inboard side of the ailerons to support the, uh, the hinge block. This is the uh, uh, ailerons. They're standard except for the part right there is missing, that vertical is missing. That's where the hinge mounts and you locate that hinge using your aileron in piece. Make sure those holes all lined up and then you glue that in place. Uh, the uh, ailerons up here at the top are compression type and one of the things you'll notice on this rib right here, it's got a tall piece right here. Well, this is short and this is because a compression member goes along here. There's another compression member goes along here. If you build them stock like this, you're going to have to glue on top of this and you're not going to get a nice full glue. So it's better to have these shortened when you build them. That way you can lay that across there and get a new nice glue joint. Now this set of ribs right here is to allow for for this uh, eighth inch wood plywood doubler and eighth inch aluminum wing attach fitting. Now this happens at the main spar. It also happens at the rear spar. On the rear spar it happens twice, once in the front, once in the back. And uh, these here are standard ribs and that's how a lot of people build them. They build them all that way. They don't make the allowances for the other variations. Now it's all there in the plans and if you steady them enough you'll find it. Well the wing build assist drawings, I went through everything to intentionally find that kind of stuff and identify it so that you could end up with a little bit less overall work. Anyway, that's the set of ribs. In case you're wondering, this is our spar material here. And I'll have another video coming up covering that before too long.